Hello and welcome to my Daughter of Chaos Quest Quick Guide. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. The Daughter of Chaos Quest only has two requirements, being level 40 Divination and level 40 Archaeology. If you want to speed up the quest a little bit, having Lodestone Quick Teleport Chargers, which you can charge using Vizwax, is quite useful. Let's get started. To start the quest, head towards Falador and go inside the Falador castle. Once inside the castle, head up the ladder and then head up the stairs. You're going to want to go inside the throne room and then talk to the Adrastea NPC. While going through the conversation, you'll get a prompt to accept the quest and accept this prompt. You'll then get a cutscene which you can skip. After the cutscene, continue the conversation until you get a set of chat options and then choose the second option or see it done. After that, proceed by going down the stairs once and then moving towards the jail looking area, also known as the interrogation room, and talk to Anne Dimitri. Now, Anne will give you a set of chat options, but it does not matter which ones you pick. Next, you're going to want to go north of the Grand Exchange inside the wilderness to talk to Anne again. You can get here by using the Edgeville Lodestone Teleport or a Luck Ring Teleport to the Grand Exchange and then using the shortcut. When given the set of chat options, choose option 1, I'm ready. After some conversation, Anne will actually move closer towards the center of the Warbands camp, and you'll want to talk to her again. Next, you're going to need to collect three points of interest, which are yellow glowing orbs, and you can also see these on your minimap. After doing so, head back to Anne and talk to her. After talking to Anne, there will be six memory fragments that spawn and float around. You're going to need to collect these, and then you can interact with the restored memory or that red glowing orb in the middle. This will allow you to play as Moya, and once you get sent into the memory, you're going to want to talk to Anakra first. Then you're going to want to head west and talk to Bilarch. He can be found near the Warbeast. After having talked to Bilarch, you're going to need to take out 9 enemies. You have 3 different abilities. You have a sort of Surge Bladed Dive on number 1, a sort of Heal Siphon on number 2, and some extra damage on number 3. When taking out the 9 enemies, you've got to watch out that you don't attack multiple at once because there are minion spawns and some of them even spawn these pulsar looking things that will do damage to you if you're in proximity of them. My tip for you is to just simply left click the enemies, let the auto attacks do its thing, except use numbers 2 and 3 as often as you can, especially to keep your health high. Enemies killed will also drop health orbs, but in case that isn't enough and you do die, all you need to do is talk to Anne again because you get teleported outside, choose the option that you want to try it again, and you even get the option to lower the difficulty as well. After killing all 9 enemies, go back to Belarch and talk to him again. At a certain point in the conversation, you'll get a set of chat options in which you want to pick option 4, we should move on. Anne will move closer towards the red orb and then you want to talk to her again, and after that you're going to need to collect 3 more points of interest. Again, they're yellow orbs, and you can see them on your minimap. This part of the quest is virtually the same thing as you did earlier, because after investigating three points of interest, you're going to go back to Anne to talk to her. You'll see the memory fragments starting to spawn again, and you're going to need to collect six of those before you can interact with the red orb, also known as the restored memory. Once you've interacted with the restored memory, you'll spawn back in as Moya, and you're going to want to interact with the purpley white colored orb, which is known as the communicator. After going through the conversation, you're going to need to fight and kill 6 enemies, and you have the same 3 abilities again. After killing all 6 enemies, talk to the Wounded Cultist, which you can find on the west side. Then talk to Trindeen. After a bunch of dialogue, you're going to be inside the Wilderness Crater, in which you want to talk to Anne Dimitri again, who just moved. After talking to Anne, click on the Red Orb, also known as the Restored Memory. You'll now have to face Avarice as a sort of boss fight. The boss fight is really straightforward. You're going to use your same three abilities to take out the boss and avoid mechanics, which are mostly the same thing. Stay out of the pulsating firebombs and you should be fine. Now, every so often, Avarice will actually spawn two greater demon reinforcements, which you can kill for health orbs if you need them. Otherwise, you can ignore them and focus on Avarice. Now, I didn't die, but I assume if you do die, you'll be able to lower the difficulty, although I'm not entirely sure. After the fight, you'll have some conversation, and then you want to go ahead and talk to Moya. Once you get a set of chat options, just choose option 1, Adrastea sent me. I don't believe it matters for the quest at all, but just in case, choose option 1. Next, I don't believe it matters, but I chose option 2, respond jokingly. After cutting and more dialogue, you'll be talking to Turindine. Simply choose the second option once you get it, or report back to Adrastea. 
Then all you need to do to complete the quest is go back to Fandal Castle, go inside the throne room and talk to Adrastea to finish the quest. As for the rewards, you'll get one quest point, an infernal puzzle box upgrade, a 30,000 XP lamp for both divination and archaeology, the order of this weapon overrides, which are either a mace or a blade dagger-like thing, and two treasure hunter keys. If the video helped you out, be sure to leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.